Hey guys, welcome to Joy of the Trade. Today, I want to talk to you about a market phenomenon that's happening that scares the shit out of me, frankly. There's hedge funds that have been blowing up left and right. On Friday, I was talking to a couple of trader buddies of mine that were telling me about these huge blocks early in the trading day. Huge blocks, like 20 million, 30 million share blocks of these traditional media companies like the Viacoms, Discoveries of the World. People were selling billions of dollars worth of those stocks in a couple of clips, which I have to explain to you is not normal. Normally a block would be like 500,000 shares, 750, maybe a million uh, people taking off like 30 million, 50 million, peeling off that kind of size. They don't want to do it in the market. They'd rather be controlling the price. It's fine. There's not much impact. impact. 30 million shares, that's a monster piece. And they were doing it all day in the selective name. So I'm like, that's got to be a fun blowing up. That's forced selling. People don't go out. And, and these stocks were down 30%. They're 25%, 30%. I'll show you in the charts in a minute. But that's liquidation sign. That's forced selling. And that started making me nervous. And I'm starting to think to myself, who's blowing up in these names and why? So I'm going to show you how it's all related to GameStop and that sort of thing right now when we run through the charts. Let's look at, let's look at Discovery first. Because this stock is... I was talking last week about the secondary offering that Viacom did. Discovery has been running the same way. So March has been a crazy month for the media companies. They were really, I actually have a monthly strategy and we were, we were buying this stock. We were long this stock and I put a stop in to protect us uh, around here, which was really important to do because you, know, you never know what these things, but my strategy picks up an institutional accumulation. And so this stock, <laughs> it's exactly what happened. And so this stock, was getting forced up by, by this one family office actually who blew up and they had uh, $75 billion worth of risk on in $15, million, $15 billion of equity. So they were levered. They were borrowing money to own stocks like Discovery and Viacom. But look at this sell-off. Look at the size of the volume that happened on Friday. Over 100 million shares. This thing's used to trading like 11 million shares. So 10 times the amount of size. People had to sell. They puked the stock. The, the company's probably going out of business. It's a family office. They run money for, for wealthy, ultra wealthy families. But that's a scary sign. So I started looking and it's the same kind of story. People were telling you that this is a Reddit stock. This is just like GME. This is the, the beautiful crusaders. They love discovery. They love GameStop, the, the wonderful retail kids. No, these are institutions that are borrowing huge money. They're trading esoteric financial instrument, instruments like swaps, and they're doing it with big brokerages who have risk. So look at this stock this morning, Credit Suisse is getting absolutely torched today. Look at this stock, 40 million. This is the Swiss, the Swiss line of Credit Suisse. And it has, I'm filming this before the market opens in the US. But the stock's down here, 15% uh, you know, today, a massive volume, gap down, because there's rumors that these guys are on the hook for the fund that's blowing up uh, in terms of the swaps. These are the guys that gave that family office the funds the leverage to, to force, to push that trade. So I guess the moral of the story is this isn't over. This isn't a one-off thing. There's a lot of people doing these things out there, doing these sort of things out there. They're levering bets. They're chasing momentum. They're pushing up boring companies, you know, bankrupt companies. These guys aren't bankrupt. Viacom's an awesome company. It's a massive conglomerate, but it's not just isolated to one specific sector or stock type is the moral of the story. What's happening, I think, is across, all, across the, entire, uh, the entire ecosystem. You're seeing over levers, over leverage. You're seeing bubbles popping up. There's a lot of momentum and it's, it's changing flavor to flavor, week to week, but you have to be careful. And if you're trying to chase and you're trading a momentum strategy, uh, have stops in and don't just sit there married to positions forever. That's what's kind of cool about the monthly. So my monthly system is a momentum system. It's a system that finds institutional accumulation at the beginning of a month and we get out by the end of the month. So on the third trading day, we get in, we get out. I saw discovery. I saw all these stocks as being accumulated at the beginning of the month. We bought them, done, did really good. And then we put in a stop. If this type of uh, situation doesn't happen with the blow up stock trades, fine. But there, we're in a really weird market. We're in a really weird market. So if you're trading momentum, learn from someone that knows how to do it. 
use stops, and just always understand that there's no fairy tale. There's institutions behind all these moves and they blow up the same way they blow stocks up. So if you have positions that have gone up a lot, look over your portfolio because they could be the next Viacom discovery. This is existing all over the market. So LFG guys, if you like this video, like it on YouTube. If you haven't yet, subscribe to Wealth Press. Uh, we got lots of videos like this coming out. And if you want to learn how to trade uh, a prudent strategy in, with momentum, check out Monthly Money Flow Elite. LFG guys, I'll be back with more videos. Take it easy.